Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Spring Boot Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project, enhancing the unit test class hierarchy for web service controller components to use the Makito library for mocks and assertions. Let's get started. I've opened the Web Services project in the Spring Tool Suite, or STS. In the last video in this series, we created the Abstract Controller Test class. This class serves as the base class for all RESTful Web Service Controller unit tests. To incorporate Makito, we need to enhance the Abstract Controller Test class. The setup method prepares the Spring Mock Framework for the execution of unit tests using a web application context. When using Makito, we do not want the full web application context, so we initialize Spring's mock framework with only the controller class to be tested. Let's create a second setup method which accepts a controller object parameter. This method creates an instance of mock MVC using the mock MVC builder's standalone setup method. The standalone setup method registers only the supplied controller instance and its dependencies rather than the full web application context. This approach provides the ability to register a controller with Makito mock dependencies. Next, let's create a new unit test class for the greeting controller, which uses Makito to stub the controller's dependencies. In the source test Java directory, open the org example WS web API package and create a new class named greeting controller mocks test, which extends abstract controller test. Annotate the class with Spring's transactional annotation to ensure that any destructive database changes are rolled back at the conclusion of each test method. Declare attributes for the greeting service and email service. Annotate the greeting service and email service attributes with mock. The mock annotation instructs Makito to analyze the class or interface and produce a test stub with the same public method signatures. Next, add an attribute for the greeting controller. Annotate the greeting controller attribute with inject mocks. The inject mocks annotation tells Makito to inject mocked objects into the greeting controller. In our case, the mocked greeting service and email service will be supplied. Next, create the setup method. This method is annotated with before, which causes JUnit to invoke the setup method before each test method execution. Use the Makito Annotations class to initialize Makito. Makito searches for annotations and prepares those objects for test execution. We also invoke the setup method on the abstract controller test class, passing the greeting controller object to the standalone setup. By using the standalone setup approach, the Makito dependencies injected into the greeting controller are preserved for test execution. Finally, let's create a unit test method which demonstrates how to use Makito to stub method responses and assert interaction with mocked objects. I'm going to paste the test method into the class and then we'll walk through the code. Finally, 
I'm going to create a few helper methods to create simulated test data for the unit test methods. I have created a test method named test get greetings, which tests the get greetings method on the greeting controller. First, I create a collection of greeting objects. I use Makito's when method to stub responses from the Makito mocked objects. Notice that Makito uses a fluid syntax. When a certain method is invoked, then return a certain response. The next several lines of code are the same as what we used in the last video in this instructional series. We use the Spring Test Framework to build mock HTTP request for the greeting controller. Then we send the request and extract the contents of the response for assertions. Let's focus on the verify method. The Makito verify method is used to perform assertions on mocked objects. In this instance, we're verifying the find all method on the greeting service has been invoked once or one time. We expect the greeting controller's get greetings method to invoke the greeting service's find all method one time to retrieve a collection of greeting objects. Let's run the application unit tests. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project based directory. Type MVN clean package and press enter. As a part of the Maven package goal, Maven executes the unit tests. Maven logs the summary results of the unit test to the console. Fifteen tests were executed with zero failures, errors, or skips. You can also run unit tests in the Spring Tool Suite. Right-click the unit test class and select Run As JUnit Test. In the JUnit view, the results of the unit test are displayed. Let's return to the greeting controller mocks test class. I'm going to paste unit test methods for the other methods on the greeting controller and walk through each to highlight the use of Makito. The test get greeting method is a unit test for the greeting controller's get greeting method. This method builds a stub response containing a single greeting object. The verify method is used to assert the greeting services find one method was invoked one time and that the parameter passed matches the value of the greeting ID passed to the greeting controller via the URI path variable. The test get greeting not found method tests the behavior of the greeting controller when no greeting is found for the supplied identifier. The when method stubs the greeting services find one method to simulate no greeting found by returning null. The test create greeting method tests the greeting controller's create greeting method. The when method is a bit different this time. The greeting services create method is stubbed so that an invocation with any greeting object returns the specific greeting entity. This unit test not only verifies the greeting services create method was invoked one time, it also uses standard assertions to confirm that the controller returned the stubbed greeting entity.
The test update greeting method tests the greeting controller's update greeting method. This method is nearly identical to creating a greeting. The service response is stubbed and its invocation is verified. The test delete greeting method tests the greeting controller's delete greeting method. We use the verify method to ensure that the greeting services delete method was invoked once. Let's run the application unit tests one more time. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project based directory. Type MVN clean package and press enter. Maven logs the summary results of the unit test to the console. This time, all of our controller unit tests were executed and all 20 of them passed with zero failures, errors, or skips. Once again, we can run the unit tests in the Spring Tool Suite. Right-click the unit test class and select Run as JUnit Tests. In the JUnit view, the results of the unit test are displayed. In any application, it is important to have a strategy for unit testing to ensure maximum code coverage, but also to avoid overlapping tests. It's often forgotten that unit tests are a part of the code base that require maintenance as well. Since we already have unit tests which assert the behavior of the business service layer of the application, there's no need for the controller unit tests to overlap the service tests. This video demonstrates how to use the Makito framework to isolate unit tests to the controller layer of the application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the LeanStacks YouTube channel and follow the LeanStacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on LeanStacks.com. To view the complete repository illustrated in this video, see the GitHub repository URL in this video's description.